a first chance to ask you about Mark Shifley's suspension. And obviously that was a significant uh, change in, in the second round series. You had a unique perspective, I believe, in that you would have sat in, I guess, on the hearing. Can you just maybe give us your assessment of, of that play and, and obviously the, the ramifications of it? Well, certainly first and foremost, uh, I, you know, I think I want to say I'm, I'm, um, I'm grateful that, uh, um, you know, uh, Jake is, is starting to skate again and, and, you know, is recovering. And we were very, very, um, I don't know what the right word is, uh, thankful, I guess, that, you know, we had heard right after uh, the game had ended that he, he didn't have to go to the hospital and that he, you know, was, you know, while stretched off the ice, you know, he was up and moving around and in the dressing room and, you know, was, was, uh, was, was, was functioning normally and, and everything like that. So for that, we were really, really grateful because you never want to see a player get injured and, you know, uh, you know, communicated that to, to Mark Bergevin, you know, as well. So, um, but from the play itself, you know, yeah, I did have a unique perspective because I, I did sit in on the, on the hearing, uh, and I did, um, you know, look at a lot of different things and a lot of different, you know, areas of it. Uh, I, I looked long and hard at the standard of, of, uh, charging and what escalated it to a, um, uh, to a, to a suspension type of penalty. And, and, and I think, and I don't know if any of you have had the opportunity to, to spend the time to look at the, you know, the videos that the NHL produces, uh, not so much the suspension hearings themselves, although you can look at those too, because they, 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 they do have some commonality when, when players have been suspended for charging, but looking at the definition itself and, and, um, you know, they talked about, you know, the, the, the escalation of, of a charging penalty to a suspension is when a player leaves his feet, launches himself, um, you know, into, uh, into the opponent. Um, uh, certainly distance traveled is, is certainly something that's talked about, but, but in this case here, you know, my firm belief is that, you know, they're, the, the, both players actually traveled the same distance. They, you know, one was skating, um, you know, to, you know, to, to go pick up the puck and, and come around the net and, and, and make a play. One was skating on a back check. Um, you know, if you look purely on distance traveled, every, every time that uh, you would forecheck on a player, technically, then you're, char you know, you're charging if you go and hit a player technically. So there's a lot of technicalities that come into play. I think that, um, you know, uh, if you look at player and puck tracking, um, you know, and, and you listen to Mark Shifley's explanation of, of what was going through his mind, you know, at that time, um, you know, Mark Shifley at the top of the circles decreased his speed by 20 percent, um, you know, coming in uh, because he was looking to see whether, um, you know, the, the player was going to spin and go back, uh, you know, from, to the other post or come around the post. So he was making himself available, um, you know, to, 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 to go at either side. And then if you continue on um, and, 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 and they talk about it in the suspension video itself with Mark, um, you know, the player, the player is allowed to, to be hit. Now, again, the level of, of, of force and stuff like that, that, you know, is, 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 is hard to, um, you know, to judge. Um, you know, if you look at the play itself, I think that it, it's 0.8 seconds from the time that the player picks up the puck uh, behind the net uh, to the point of impact, uh, 0.8 seconds in, in a game that, that a player has to make a decision. If you further look at the video, it, you know, and, and, and the contention that, um, you know, the, the puck was already in the net, it's 0.2 seconds that, um, you know, the puck crosses the line to the point of impact. And then further, if you look at the point of impact, um, you know, the, the, the player's head, you know, clearly is not the first point of contact. It's, it's the shoulder into, uh, into the body. And, um, you know, certainly, uh, you know, did, did, did it potentially, <clears throat> potentially ride up and, and, and have some, some head contact, you know, um, I guess possibly, but like it says in the suspension video that that happens, um, you know, in, 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 uh, in course of impact all the time. But um, so, so that's basically, um, you know, I guess my, my interpretation and my uh, analysis of, of what, uh, what transpired.